The redeemed Christian Church of God was founded in 1952 in Nigeria, and just a few decades ago it had no U.S. presence. But now the church has hundreds of locations in America. It hopes to use the explosive growth of African Christianity to re-evangelize Americans, one out of five who say they do not belong to any faith. VOA's religion reporter Jerome Sokolowski reports from the church's large headquarters in Texas. In this bucolic setting in Floyd, Texas, the Redeemed Christian Church of God recently opened its $15 million North American Redemption Camp. A recent gathering here featured spirituals and fervent prayer. It also featured the church's worldwide leader, Glory be to your name, Enoch Adeboya. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. His appearance was part of a U.S. tour that began at this rented megachurch in Maryland. His disciples consider him a prophet, despite the former mathematics professor's almost phlegmatic demeanor. And don't be surprised if tomorrow you have a test on what you have learned today. His lesson was on how to win converts for this intensely energetic Pentecostal movement. Come to pass in the name of quickly, speedily. Texas based pastor James Fadele is the church's North American director. He says the headquarters are not finished and will be expanded outward to ultimately seat one million people. Fadele argues that if large rallies can be held in America over issues like civil rights, why can't we gather one million people just to praise God overnight, worship God, and just be ecstatic and just worship and just dance? It's going to come to pass. Mark it down. The U.S. has many imported religions, but this one could be influential. A Rice University study found that Nigerians are the most highly educated people in the country. Fadila concedes there's a cultural obstacle. Right now when I speak, people say I have an accent. <laughs> <laughs> Some other people that come to church say, you know what, we are still straining our ears to understand you. There are few non-Africans here and only a couple of whites. But Matt Patterson believes American Christianity has lost its evangelical fervor. Jesus said to go out and preach the gospel to every single person, not just certain groups, not just people they're, they're comfortable talking to, but he said to go out and tell everyone. And that's exactly what, what this, this church does. As night falls, the supplications become more intense. The West may have brought Christianity to Africa, but this African church believes it has a mission from God to re-Christianize societies that it believes have become too secular and godless. Could African religion appeal to Americans who are increasingly shunning their own spiritual roots? Nigerian-born religion professor Kola Abimbola says the church has Huge prospects. Why? Because he says it takes the Christian belief in God and angels. And then they believe in evil forces which go beyond what is contained in the Bible. Abimbola, who is also a Yoruba priest, says traditional African religions view multiple sources of evil at work in everyday life. It definitely appeals to people who are not Nigerian. Uh, people who believe that uh, religion might make an important, contribute an important role to navigating this complex terrain we call the world. Wave your handkerchiefs and make the devil mad. Making the devil mad makes these believers want to dance. But it's far from clear how many Americans will make a cultural shift and find meaning in this rapidly growing African style of Christianity. Jerome Sokolovsky, VOA News, Floyd, Texas.